Bill Crawley from Badlands here in Salt Lake City, Utah. We're celebrating our 20th anniversary here and uh, we just wanted to get together with you guys and show you a little bit about what we're going to be doing for 2013 and some of the new products we're coming out with and what makes our company different from anybody else in the hunting industry. To start with, um, we've gone through and taken some of our true and tested products like the 2200 and every three or four years we take all the information that we gather from customers of what they like, what they think sucks, and otherwise what might be changed to make it a better product, and we go through and we revamp the entire thing. Um, some of the things will always stay true to Badlands, and that is the science behind carrying packs. And most of the time, people will talk about pockets and fabrics and what it's designed to carry. If you ever walk into a Badlands situation or a Badlands dealer though, we try to train our people to talk more about what makes the pack carry better than anything else out there. And really it comes down to ergonomics. Every pack that we make is based on what the human body looks like. We actually in the early days used to make plaster molds of anyone who would walk into our shop. We'd get them to lay down in some sand, we'd pour plaster down and we'd pull it up and take a look at Wow, look at what this looks like. It's nothing like packs are shaped. You would basically get this guy's flat pack against his curved back and you would try to jam it in place and nothing ever fit correctly. So what we ended up doing was taking all these plaster molds, we took them to a friend of ours who plotted them on a CAD system and showed us what the human body really looked like three-dimensionally. And we all sat around, not being the brightest guys in the world, but it didn't take long to figure out, shouldn't the two parts kind of match together like a puzzle? And shouldn't that fit around your body instead of be an opposite shape or a different shape? And that's how we end up starting out with doing what we do. And you'll notice with all Badlands products, they're molded around your hip bones. They're molded around the curvature of your spine, up how your kidney palates are slightly different shape than around your rib cage. And by doing this, what you do is you get a pack that actually fits around your body instead of riding on top of it. So eventually it's going to start to mold exactly to your shape and give you the best feeling pack you could get. What this also does is allow you to have much better circulation than you would normally have with a a regular backpack because instead of putting pressure points on your body it's actually wrapping around your body and those are the kind of things that separate Badlands from anything else out there on the market whether it be mountaineering, hunting, fishing, we don't care what it is this pack is going to ride better than anything else out there. The next thing that we really do and we like to talk about at Badlands is how to carry loads correctly most companies out there are going to design a bunch of pockets and basically put a gym bag onto a set of shoulder straps. The problem with that is it fights everything there is to do about physics. What I'm going to do is take a big bag that sticks out to here and carry, load it with weight and carry it as well. I don't care how much foam, how much webbing, how much strapping you put on this pack, it'll never carry correctly. You're normally going to see a bunch of guys leaning over like this out there in the field and that's because they're trying to compensate for their poor center of gravity because they're wearing a pack that is pushed so far away from it. What we do at Badlands is, and this took quite a while actually to get people to catch on, they're like, that is the oddest shaped pack I've ever seen. Will that work for me? Ten minutes carrying it and they understood why. What we actually do is we make all of our packs very thin. And that is because we want to carry the weight as close to our body as we can. We also take the packs and we push the weight upward because your natural center of gravity is right through your chest area. And that's what's important to do is to mimic what the body is actually trying to accomplish in its own physiology. And by doing that, the pack works with you instead of against you. So every one of our packs will be a little bit thinner and a little bit taller to carry that weight correctly. But all these nice features do nothing if the thing's going to self-destruct on you. So we go to huge lengths to make sure that our products are, bar none, the most durable out there. Every piece of webbing you see on our packs is bar tacked with a material called Kevlar thread. One strand of this will lift about 110 pounds. We don't just bar tack it in one spot, but in two places. And then 
the webbing continues on into the fabric itself where it actually is seam taped and then bar tacked with Kevlar again. It's all about redundancies. We want to know that even if something blows, you're going to have a backup for it. And we do it to the lengths that nobody else would even do. You turn a pack inside out and that's where it starts to tell its story. Most people will show you what's cool on the outside and they'll do a bunch of things to show you that they're trying to work on quality. Turn it inside out though and that's where a Badlands product really shines. Everything that you do inside of this pack reflects how it's going to perform on the outside. Turn it inside out and it's going to be a masterpiece on the inside as well as the outside as far as durability goes. Everywhere where we decide that fabric is not going to be strong enough, we actually cut it away and use a material called Hyperlon. This Hyperlon can't even be cut with scissors, it has to be die cut, it is so durable. And we replace all that fabric with this, so you're never ever going to have a blowout. We actually invert all the teeth on our zippers, so they're much quieter than normal zippers. All the noise is pushed inward, so the vibration is dampened against your gear, plus it also keeps dirt, mud, and snow from building up in the teeth so they last a lot longer. Anywhere where I grab onto a Badlands pack, it's designed to grab back. Basically, I'm going to get a hold of a zipper with gloves on or cold hands and I'm going to be able to pull it when I need to. These are some of the things that we do to make sure that the pack is the best it can be. But it is a pack, it is made out of fabric, and it is built by people, so things can go wrong. That is the other place that we like to shine as a company is if things go south on you, we're going to back it up 100%. We don't care what happened to it. Run it over the car, dog chews on it, bear attacks it. We're either going to fix it or replace it for you for free forever without any questions asked. And those are some of the things that uh, have brought us along for the last 20 years and uh, made us a company that we're quite proud of.